Everyone, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, where today we are taking a look at the Thin Air slash Light Fighter deployment bag, which you happen to see right here. Now, in the past, I've taken a look, we have taken a look at multiple deployment bags being utilized by the United States military. This is another one. This is the Olympus II, and let's take a look at it now. If you've seen my previous videos on deployment packs, you know that I absolutely love them. They are highly versatile. And when it comes to military surplus, they're some of the best bargains out there. You really can use them for a wide range of different purposes. Now with the Olympus II, I've had this out a couple of times. I've done some camping trips here, some overland stuff. And I can tell you that this is a fantastic deployment bag. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the pockets, functions, and features of this pack here. You have a carry strap, compression straps, You have a document pocket right here, which is Velcroed. This offers a lot of space inside of here. You could theoretically put a laptop inside of this as well. You have two loops for attachments. You have a grab handle on the bottom. On the front of the pack, you have multiple grab handles. One, two, and three. You have a clear document pocket right here for whatever you want. Here you have zippered access to the main compartment of the pack. On the inside of this lid, you have an additional zippered pocket. Behind here, you have a YKK zipper, and this gives you access to the extension portion of this pack. Essentially, this pack goes from 30 inches all the way out to 40 inches. It's pretty neat. On the bottom of the pack, right here, you have access to the drag handle for easy rolling through an airport and whatnot. Below that, you have the carry harness. So you can wear this like a backpack. Down below that, you have a waist belt. So let's go ahead and let's move to the inside of this pack. You have two-way YKK zippers up here at the top. It opens up like so. Here on the lid, you have two zippered mesh pockets and then a large stowable pocket below that. On the inside, you have the ABS organization system, which is essentially three Velcro panels, which you can place inside of this any way that you want to. So essentially you could organize your gear into compartments if you want. Down at the bottom, you have compression straps, which are bungee. So you could stow your clothes down here, buckle them in, and they're not going anywhere. Below that, you will see a zipper. And essentially that is the foam padding that protects your gear in the bottom. Speaking of which, this pack is surrounded with foam on the inside, the lid, and the bottom to protect your gear. Setting this up to wear it is very simple. You pull out the harness, you pull out the waist belt, disconnect the sternum strap, disconnect the connection straps, clip those in each of the corners with the metal D-rings, put it on, adjust the straps, clip in the waist belt, adjust, then it's time for your sternum, and you're ready to go, just like that. You may be wondering why this is called the Thin Air slash Light Fighter Deployment Pack, and there's a reason for that, and I'm going to explain it to you as much and as well as I understand it to be. So Thin Air makes this deployment pack, but Light Fighter handles the military contracts. Essentially, they are the middleman between Thin Air and the U.S. government, and they have helped with the design of this product. Essentially, they've helped them, Thin Air, take it to the level where the military would accept this and issue an NSN number and begin issuing it to our troops. These bags can be found in all sorts of colors, including the typical coyote, green, camos, and whatnot. The weight of this thing is very substantial. I have not put this on a scale, but my guess is 20 pounds, something like that. It's up there. Next, we have to talk about dimensions. When this is not extended, you are looking at 30 inches by 15 inches by 15 inches. And this offers you roughly 6,750 cubic inches worth of capacity. When the pack is extended, you were looking at 40 inches by 15 by 15. This extension provides you with 10 additional inches worth of space. And that takes this deployment pack up to 9,000 cubic inches. With the materials, you were looking at 1,000D Kedora. You're looking at YKK zippers. The inside material is a 210 denier pack cloth. The wheels are four inch polyurethane wheels, heavy duty. The housing is all metal and plastic. It is berry compliant, TSA compliant, TAA compliant. And also it should be mentioned that this is made in the United States. 
when it comes to the price of this bad boy, retail is $360. And with military surplus, you could find these anywhere from 50 bucks in very used condition, all the way up to like 170, 200 for excellent condition. You may be asking yourself, Luke, how do you go about using this? For myself, this is the perfect overland bag. It's the perfect travel bag. If you are someone who is flying somewhere to go camping, you can actually put your backpack and all of your gear, food, clothes, and whatnot inside of this, and it's easy to fly with. For overland use, I mean, you could put all of your gear inside of this, or you could use this as just one bag as part of your system. Say this could be your cooking bag. It has your Coleman stove, some fuel cans, plates, silverware, whatnot. You really can use these for just about anything. And I do, I keep a deployment pack inside of my truck at all times. I essentially use it as an emergency bag that is packed full of supplies. And it works incredibly well for that purpose. In the comment section down below, please share your thoughts about this pack. Share your thoughts about the force protector version of this pack. If you're a member of the United States military and you've used one of these, make sure to share your thoughts and experiences. If you have a question, feel free to email me. I will help you out if I can. And that's it, everyone. Take care, strength and honor. Have a good one. By the way, everyone, maybe we should do a versus episode with the thin air deployment pack versus the force protector. Comment down below if you want that. See ya.